so this is the question uh, from 2015 paper paper 3 part 3 paper so the question is based on tensor s i j and a i j represents a symmetric and an anti symmetric real valid tensor respectively so this s i j is symmetric and a i j is anti symmetric next in a six dimension then the number of independent components of s i j and a i j are okay <coughs> if suppose if suppose it is a symmetric tensors so then the number of independent independent components components for symmetric for symmetric tensors is n into n plus 1 by 2 so where n is a dimension so here it is six dimension they are given it is six dimension so therefore six into six plus one by two so six into six plus one is seven by two so two ones are two threes are seven threes are twenty one so there are twenty one independent symmetric tensors will be there for a i for s i j okay so twenty one 21 <coughs> okay this is the correct assumption and well let us verify this anti symmetric uh, components so the number of independent components for anti symmetric tensor is n into n minus 1 by 2 so which is equal to 6 into 6 minus 1 is 5 by 2 2 ones are 2 threes are 5 threes are 15 so there are 15 independent components so therefore option b is correct so there are 21 symmetric on 15 anti-symmetric independent components okay so this is question number three which is based on uh, the question is like this the Jacobian corresponds to the transformation x1 bar is equal to x1 cos hyperbolic i plus i x4 sin hyperbolic and uh, x4 bar minus i x1 sin hyperbolic chi. So this is chi <coughs> or xi. Okay, well, sorry, chi. So these are x1 prime and this is x1. So here we have to calculate Jacobian transformation. So the Jacobian transformation for a two-dimension is like this. So do x by do q1 and do y by do q1 and do x by do q2 and do x by do q2 determinant is not equal to zero. Okay and so let's see here x is nothing but just like x1 prime which is equal to x1 cos hyperbolic chi plus i into x4 sin hyperbolic chi so here x1 is just like q1 and x4 is just like q2 and another one is y is equal to x2 x4 x4 prime which is equal to minus i into x1 sin hyperbolic chi plus x4 into cos hyperbolic chi and here this is just like q1 q2 okay let us verify this one dou x by dou q1 so this is x1 so you differentiate this x1 prime with respect to q1 q1 is x1 if you differentiate this with or we can write like this dou x1 divided by x1 prime divided by dou x1 and dou x2 prime divided by dou x1 and 
डो एक्स फोर प्राइम डिवाइडेड बाय डो एक्स फोर एंड सॉरी डो एक्स वन प्राइम एंड डो एक्स फोर सो दिस इज एक्स फोर प्राइम डिवाइडेड बाय डो एक्स फोर विच इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो लेट्स सी do x1 prime with respect to do x1 is cos hyperbolic chi and do x4 prime with respect to do x1 is minus i into sin hyperbolic chi and do x1 prime with respect to do x4 is sin hyperbolic chi and do x4 prime with respect to do x4 is cos hyperbolic chi which is equal to cos square hyperbolic chi minus i into sin sorry minus of minus plus i into sin square hyperbolic chi and uh, so there i is there so this is i square okay this is i then which is equal to cos square hyperbolic chi minus sin square hyperbolic chi which is equal to cos square hyperbolic chi minus sin square hyperbolic chi is nothing but 1 so option c is correct okay so this is the question the kronecker delta do ij is equal to 1 if i is equal to j and 0 if i is not equal to j it's a three dimensional cartesian coordinate system Uh, it transforms like a tensor of rank one, a tensor of rank two, an axial vector, a pseudo scalar. So actually, it's a tensor of rank two. So because here we have two components. Okay, if it is like this, I J K. So then it is a tensor of rank three. If it is L here, so one, two, three, four. There are four components. Two is contravariant and two is covariant rank. So rank is four. If it is like this, it is rank five. If it is only like this, so then it is rank two. It's a mix mixture tensor. Okay, mixer tensor because one is covariant, another one is contravariant. Okay. If it is like this, it is tensor of rank two. If it is like this, it is tensor of rank three. It's a mixture tensor. Okay. So <coughs> this is a question based on Simpson's one by third. So you can check that every year there is a question on the Simpson one by third or Simpson three by eight and Newton Dobson method, right? So this is the question on Simpson one by third rule. Uh, gives exact analytic result for the numerical integral of the function. The function c is like this. See, here the function of fourth order, order four. It is up to order two, second order function. And this e power minus x is also is nothing but one minus x plus x square by two factorial and so on. And this log x also you can expand up to n number of series. So therefore, but Simpson one by third rule is give which give an exact solution only up to third order. Okay, so up to third order means it it is or the function only a second order function, and this is after that third order. This is a fourth order. Okay, so the in this all of of answers so. option c is correct 
so simpsons on by third give exact solution only up to order 3 okay like for example x cube minus x square plus 1 is equal to 0 like this up to this function we can calculate exact solution after that also we can calculate but we will get number of errors will be increases which gives only a approximate solution not an exact solution if you move on to the uh, fourth order fifth order and like that okay so this is the question based on uh, numerical part which of the following numerical method is used to find root of a function so range kutta method simpson 3 by 8 rule newton raphson method and trapezoidal method see this range kutta method and the simpson 3 by 8 method and uh, this uh, newton raps sorry this trapezoidal method is so these are all which gives integral value okay or we can calculate by using these three equations area under the curve the curve is like this area under this curve we can calculate by using these three methods and this newton raphson method is used to calculate a root root of the given function so we have so many methods to calculate the root of the given function like bisection method and quadratic method or uh, uh, like cubic equations for a synthetic division method but why newton raphson is helps so those equations it is not possible to get exact root in that case we will go to the newton raphson method okay so newton raphson method is used to calculate root of the given function next uh, question number 8 the number of independent real parameters characterizing the group SU of 2 R, SU of 2, that means special unitary matrix of order 2 or 1, 2, 3, 4. So, number of independent real parameters. So, for that we have a formula that is 2 S minus 1. So, this is the formula we are used to calculate to find the number of independent uh, parameters. So here S is nothing but the order 2, if it is 2, you have to substitute 2, if E here 3, you have to substitute here 3, if it is N, you have to substitute here N. So therefore, 2 into 2 minus 1, which is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. So there are 3 independent parameters for a special unitary matrix of order 2. Okay.